Greetings and salutations. It is I, Serene Sai, and we are back with more Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. Yes, um, in the last episode, actually, we have two more wins. Hopefully, we can get them in this video to rank up the gold tier three. In the last episode, we had an interesting, um, I actually don't remember. Short-term memory loss. It's great. Anyway, let's duel. This has been the curse, though. So far, every person that I've gone up with has had either a Karibo icon or Rescue Rabbit. And that's terrifying. I mean, the solo mode in this game's really not all that pursuable. Like, the way I see it, if you want to do solo mode, you might as well just do it for the gems and maybe some cards, because it'll give you, they'll give you card packs and whatnot, but the gems are probably the best value for it. All right, let's see what I can do first turn. Don't, don't hit me with Nibiru, please. I activate Hysteric Sign. Wow, it allows me to grab an elegant egotist to my field. Unless he has an Ash Blossom, in which case, screw you. Do it, 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 Bruh. Yeah, yeah, I saw that coming. You think you're so slick. Whatever, uh, I'll put Harpy Lady. So he negated my effect. I summon Cyber Harpy Lady and end my turn. I wasn't really gonna, I couldn't really do much. It's a lot, but that's why I go second. My, my... XZ monsters really only benefit from when there's stuff on my opponent's side of the field. I dare you to Harpy Feather Duster me though. You won't. You won't. You won't. Listen here, I promise I did not plan that. Damn, that sucks. You have an Ash Blossom for this, because if you don't, you might lose next turn. Yeah, there is a great chance that you lose next turn. Okay. Uh, no, that's some spell cards. Let's get my own Harpy's Feather Duster. I, 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 I'm really upset that he did that. I called two of his cards. I don't even know what he's running yet. Sucks to be me. He might have an effect. But if you don't, you're taking damage. Like, a lot of it. Do you to Ash Blossom me, though. Alright, and activate Harpy Channel's effects, allowing me to send a Harpy card to the graveyard. Sending Harpy Harpist allows me at the end of the graveyard to get a card from my deck. Anyway, we're then going to sell him. Summon Harpy for Humor in defense position. Because activating her effect allows me to get a spell card that has Harpy Lady in it. And it's amazing because he has not affected me with me at all yet. Then we're going to activate Elegant Egotist to then bring out Harpy Lady Sisters because why the hell not? Damage. Then we're going to attack this a man for a lot of damage and probably win because I'm going to summon. God damn it. I activated that by accident. I was pressing too fast, but at the very least, he can't do anything this turn. Actually, he apparently can. So I think I made the right play doing that. He might try and activate it, which is hilarious. Activate it, bro. Do it. You've activated everything else in your hand. Do that. Why not? Don't read my card effect. Good job. He honestly just had to take this, and that's what kind of sucks. I don't know exactly what it is, but um, we are going to link summon because he has not stopped anything I'm going to do. So we're going to link summon this amazing looking monster whose name I can't spell. I think it's Simorpha Sovereignty. Sorry. Let's see. Sovereignty. Sovereignty. Something like that. We're going to set Icarus attack so we can pop off Harpy Lady Sisters, and then we're going to end the turn, and then summon the monster that allows him not to set any cards on the field, and see what he does then. And activate Harpy Harpus, forgot about that, let's bring you back to my hand. Actually, no, you're actually better. So, make your turn. Honestly, there are multiple ways this could go. Let's see if I can pick another card. You got a Raigeki? Raigeki is literally your only chance. Pretty ballsy of him. Alright, well, I might as well... Honestly, I might as well just summon my last one right here. Activate her effect and get two cards. Let's get you, and then let us get a Luring Mirror Split. Basically, when a monster is destroyed, it's only by battle, but when it is destroyed, it allows me to, to do some pretty cool stuff. 
Activate alluring mirror split. Yes. Ooh. I hate it here. All right, whatever, whatever. Uh, we pop this to destroy uh, alluring mirror split, I guess. That sucks a lot, to be honest. I I'd be tapping too fast when I'm hyper. And that's not going to activate, so yeah, that sucks. A lot. Damn, I can't even kill him! And he has an effect to activate. I hella misplayed. What does that do? Guardian Slime? I don't know what that does. I just know I'm very upset with that misplay. Have to be your effect. Let me get me another harpy monster. Don't don't click too fast, guys. It's not worth it. I don't think I could have destroyed that, but I think it's also you know he would have got a spell that lists the Wing Dragon of Raw. So he's definitely trying to do that. Where do you even get that card? I was actually looking for that card because I was doing a different kind of deck. So what's your next move? What is your next move? What did he tribute? Cause he can sort of come back- oh, Guardian Slime, okay. If he has Winged Dragon of Raw in his hand or Slifer, he does technically win. Then he can get that card. He could he could he could bring this back, sort of. That misplay caught might have cost me the duel, and I'm really upset because I do that a lot, because I just be tap tap tapping. I didn't I wasn't paying attention, I had a scratch. I mean, the only thing he could have in his hand, I think the, his best play would be to have Slifer, because it would get, what, 5,000 attack? I wouldn't be able to go over it, but I could still take his monster if I get the right card. Like, if he leaves this monster alone, which I don't really care if he does, like, what I'm going to do, honestly, is I'm going to save him so I can summon Channeler. I don't think I have two in my graveyard. I don't only really have two in this deck. He's going to go after some more. Interesting. He won this set of card. He forgot I have Harpy Ladies. Harpy Feather Duster. He doesn't know he can't win though. Yeah, he he can't win. He had a chance to win there and he failed. Even though I horribly misplayed, he he had a he had a chance. He had a chance to win there. It, it's over. I'm sorry, bro. Ugh. I'm gonna just do this the easy way, just to get it out the way. We're just summoning the summon. Because I can't get over your attack, let's summon one of my favorite cards. Well, I can't. I can. There are multiple ways I can get rid of over that monster's attacks, but I choose not to because I'm petty and I just want to attack you directly. Because there's nothing you can do about it. Anyway, let's battle. That's not what I want to battle with. Attack you directly. Goodbye. But it bum 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 but it bum. I was very off the music, but we won our first duel. Let's go to the well. Let's see. Let's see what we got. We ranked up twice, got 20 crystals, gems, whatever they're called. Let's go. Got some points. Alright, let's go on to the next one. Looks like we got someone who completed the battle pass. Impressive. I'm going second. You know I gotta go second with these kind of decks. Who knows what kind of terrifying thing you have planned for me. I think that's the um, one you get from doing Mech Lords. So this guy actually grinded. I, I couldn't do that. Not Mech Lords, Mech Knights. In the solo mode, there's a... Well, tell me what you're... What are you, what are you discarding, bro? Uh, Blackwing. 
So we fought Raid Raptors just a few days ago, and now we're going to be fighting Black Wings. <sighs> it's going to be interesting. That's an adorable card for such a terrifying... You can target... Okay. So I think Black Wings is um, Synchro. Or, no, no. Yeah, Black Wings is a Synchro. Okay. I for some... I'm about to say, you better not have a level 11. Wow, it's crazy. I have this card in my hand. Wow, that's really crazy. If you don't have a dark monster, you gotta banish your own entire hand, right? Alright, if you control the monster, you can banish one other. Blah, 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 blah. Doesn't look like this card's coming back anytime soon. So he's synchro summoning. Oh, that's cute. It's gonna suck when I steal that from you. Ah, damn it. Is there any quick effects? Once return target one monster you control with a witch counter, take control of it. It's unaffected by other card effects. But that does not mean that I can't go over and attack. So first of all, screw your cards. Second of all, I summon you in attack position. We got the combo, boys. If we have these two in the same hand, it's a combo. I get cards for days. Um my plan actually go ahead add, add wedge counters bro go ahead it's not going to matter I promise you we're literally only summoning you for damage at this point let's summon Harbor Lady Sister so we can get the other one it is not hard for me to get over monsters like this at all. I have options. Activate your effect so we can get harpies. He has put wedge counters on all my monsters and he's probably just like... Ooh. Anyway, let's start off with this bad boy. Which you in the graveyard. And technically, I can summon Slash. No, I can't. You Activate stupid! Activate your effect. I'm gonna gain 15. So it's always wonderful. Because you're only unaffected. God damn it, that didn't work. Alright, well that, that was a failure. I thought that it would still... Oh wait, I have to gain the attack. No. No, I didn't read. I read incorrectly. I should have sent out the other one. There's another card I have in here. God damn it. Alright, it's not completely over yet. I should have sent out the Raid Raptor card, because I'm pretty sure that just doesn't matter. I was just thinking, ah, god damn it. Alright, uh, what can I do here? I guess I can just summon you. Just make it so he can't set cards. And I don't have any more wedge counters on the field, so, well, I do. Damn. Alright, cool. I can at least do that, so I can do the play over again next turn. So I at least have that. Alright, alright, we're not at a complete loss. I summoned the wrong monster, that is all. If he doesn't get anything good this turn, I can definitely make a comeback. I just was not thinking. Did I have three? Yeah, I did. I should have summoned the Rave Raptor card. I don't know why I was thinking, don't do that. That wouldn't make sense. <sighs> Sometimes you misplay. I, I forgot that its effect only activates when it affects the monster. I don't know why that was not on my head. Oh, he was just going to put a wedge counter on my monster anyway. So he's going to attack me with two monsters, and that is fine. Is it only till the end of the turn? Because next turn, you're not getting so lucky. That much, I promise you. So if I put you in the graveyard, summon another one, I get two elegant egotists, summon two cyber harpy ladies, then I can actually make some decent plays. But I lost a very good monster. Make your turn, bro. Att get my mo Oh wait, I'm unaffected, aren't I? I am not. You're unaffected, so it doesn't even matter. That is not a lot of damage. I thought you were going to do more. Alright. Let's actually make plays this time. That could have been so much... That could have been useful last turn. Alright. 
Okay, so we're gonna activate this. Get Harpy Perfumer. I misplayed so hard. It's gonna haunt me for the rest of my days. I was so scared I didn't have another one. Alright, so at the very least, he is going to take some damage. I should have brought a Alluring Mirror Split. Alright, summon two of you. I might just, honestly, do I need to summon two? Because no, I'm getting rid of three, so I might as well summon Harpy. And then if I Brick, which I probably will, I'm just going to summon two other cards, so... All right, this should work a lot better now. Activate your effect. You're just unaffected. Does not mean that I can't just grab your attack, my guy. Anyway. He obviously wants me to destroy that, so I am. I have no clue what it does. Oh, doesn't do anything. Alright, main phase two, because I think he has to work really hard to get back to where he was with that. Alright, good hand. Yeah, he has to work really hard. I don't think that card had a graveyard effect, and I don't think he expects me to just get over <laughs> He quit! Yeah, I that would have that duel probably would have ended a turn ago if I didn't do that. If I did that the first time. Like my my deck just has a lot of answers. Like that Blackwing deck, I guess it if or think no, it was a Raid Raptor deck. If I had cause I, I looked at the footage, I actually had the option to go first and I chose to go second. Not that I could have had that foresight that he had like legitimately the perfect hand to set up with. But if I had went first and got out Metal Flare Dragon, because if I go first, and if I have that as an option, I do that. So it's damage. It's the same thing as setting up a Max C on your first, when activating Max C, because your opponent has to be careful at that point. It's like, do I risk taking this much life points, or do I just stop my play so I don't kill myself? He would have died. But anyway, um, this is going to be the end of the episode. I hope you all enjoyed. I definitely uh, didn't expect to, oh wait, did we rank up? We should have ranked up. Let's go! All right, we got to rank up, so that's always amazing, awesome, stupendous, spectacular. And um, we're getting closer and closer to Platinum. I don't know why, but I didn't really think that it would do too well against meta. And I guess some of these decks aren't meta. I'm just glad to see more than just Eldritch. Um, that's really the only thing that I've seen that I've heard is mentioned that is meta, honestly. Because I've seen Blue Eye. I, I saw one Blue Eyes deck. I saw a, um, I see Ra Ray Raptors, Blackwing, only deck I haven't seen that I know very good fondly is like small decks, like, uh, I'm actually, well, I'm trailing off because I'm losing my train of thought. However, I will not only be dueling with just Harpy Ladies, in the future once I get the Platinum with Harpy Ladies, I'm going to be doing as much as I can to perfect other decks so I can use them. I have a Rika Plant deck that's in the works. I have a Sulfur Cord deck that's also in the works, and soon I'm going to be trying my first attempt to actually build a Box of Friends deck. They're an archetype that I found in the first Legacy of the Duelist game, and I like that. I like them ever since that. I just haven't been able to really implicate them again. So I'm looking forward to their materials are not expensive, so that's always good. But if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like because, you know, likes help me. I want to make more content. Well, I'm going to make more content regardless, but I want to spread more positivity, make people laugh and smile. Watch me duel. Watch me play video games. Look forward to sometime in May, March, because some, some, something new is going to be hitting the channel that I have not played on the channel, mostly because I didn't own El Elgato. But if you enjoyed the video, thank you for watching. Um, I will see you in the next one. This is Serene Sai signing off.